Welcome back to another episode of the CIS Podcast. This is episode three, sponsored by Ewing Farms. I am your host, Jack Jones, and today we have... Callie. Sydney. Becca. All right. <laughs> Tell me a little about yourselves. Um, my name's Callie Van Voris. I'm a sophomore, and I'm on the media team. I take care of videos and editing. Wow. What about you, Sid? My name is Sydney Hintermeister. I am on the business team, and I just help assist with business plans, budgeting, sponsors, that type of stuff. Becca. I'm Becca. I'm a junior, and I'm on the media team, and I take pictures. Sweet. You weren't originally on the business team, though, were you? No, I started out thinking I was going to do build, and I kind of just changed my mind and thought business was something more that I wanted to do. Cool. So. Didn't, yeah, you thought that too, Becca. You were going to be on build, right? Yeah, I decided media was a better fit. Okay. Yeah, I, I did not want to be on build. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, were you guys, like, confused when you first joined the team? So like, yeah, I joined together. Yeah? I yeah. joined before you guys. I came to the first LGM of the school year, and I, I did not know what was going on at all. Yeah, because <laughs> they were throwing out words like, jump start and kick off and i'm like what fmea <laughs> i didn't know what fmea yeah. was until about a month ago do you even know what yeah. it is like these like in my head i just kind of <coughs> think of the words and that's all dang that was my old job i used to do fmea like all the time no disrespect to you jack yeah all right yeah wait like how'd you guys uh get into joining the team um, my brother was on it first, and so. then Toe joined, and then <laughs> yep. here I am. Yep. <laughs> um, mine was just, like, a lot of my friends were in it, like, Blake and Dylan, Jack. <laughs> and a lot of them just kind of told me, they're like, you need to join, it's fun. And so I went to a meeting kind of thinking, oh, it's going to be a one-time thing, and then I'll probably not like it. And then I went to it, and then I went to another, and then another, and then I joined. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought we were just driving around a robot, and yeah. that's it. But there's so much more to it than... There's a lot of different aspects. Yeah, for team. sure. Like, I just thought it was build, and that's it. Yeah. And then I hear strategy, quality control, and <laughs> safety, and I'm like, marketing. What? Yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Like, How'd you guys decide, like, what, uh, what side of the team you wanted to be on? Um, well... After I did join, Dylan kind of took me under his wing. He pretty much just said, I want you on media. This is what you're going to do. And just gave me a list. And I just kind of went with it. I didn't really think about any other department I'd actually want to be in. So that's my story. Yeah. Dude, you actually been killing with the media, though. Like, those videos are Thank looking you. good. <laughs> Thank you. What about, like, why did you think build it first and then switch over to, like, media and business? I don't know. Media just kind of drew my eye at first just because pictures are something I like to do. Um, I figured build was going to be kind of hard or challenging to do first year. So maybe next year. Wow. <laughs> Even things <laughs> open. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, your first event was like Jumpstart, right? You didn't go to kick... Or no, I'd, kickoff was after. I went to both, yeah. Yeah. What did you think of Jumpstart? Um, I was really confused all day. Dylan pretty much said, here's a camera. If you have questions, find me. And I was walking around with Serena, who was on media before, who switched to marketing. And we just kind of walked around all day, spent probably three hours a day eating because we had no idea what to do. <laughs> but, like, that's kind of how I thought every competition or event was, where it's just, like, no one really knows what they're doing for, like, 12 hours. But as I'm kind of getting more into it, I'm realizing that, oh, I should be here at this time, I should be here at this time. And just stuff like that. Do you guys haven't even been to a regional yet? I don't Dude, it's know. a trip. I'm like, excited. It, it is a trip. It's a lot of fun. Especially uh, hanging out with uh, your roommates or people you're rooming with. And I, <laughs> it, it, it I'm gets excited. A little, yes. It gets a little much, but, you know, getting woken up in the middle of the night. Uh, <laughs> that, that happened to Do me you last time. Is there a story there? Yeah, there, there might be, yeah. <laughs> there might be. No, okay. Totally to shaking his head. No, all right. We're not going to go for that, though. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Honest, uh, my first uh, regional, I was a volunteer. So basically, uh, I went there and like left right away. Didn't really see much of the team at all. Uh, I went down there and did like field redo, field construction. So like, after every match, I would reset the field with like two other people. How many years ago was this? That was last year. 
Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Is this your right. second or third year? This is my second year. Yeah. There you go. Right? <laughs> yeah, I see you guys next year, though. But Yeah. Yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun, though. I, I didn't understand what was going on at all. The second day, I kind of kind of started getting it. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically just putting balls and uh, hash panels back where they were supposed to be. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of that. The food was amazing, though. They gave us free food at Duluth. Nice. That's wow. Dude, always a bonus. Free food is... <laughs> Dude, they had some bomb Alfredo. That was, <laughs> nice. It was great. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, what did you guys think of Jumpstart? I thought there was a lot of people, mm. oh, really? but apparently regionals, there's more. Oh, way like, more. Way more, so that's going to be yeah. fun to see, mm. but I don't know. I thought it was fun. Got to learn some new things. Was quite confused okay. yeah. for a lot of it because they were talking about bumpers and different drivetrains, and I was very confused, but... Did any of you go to my presentation? Like the FME one? I, had, I recorded it. You recorded it, that's I right. I did, that's right. yeah. I think I took pictures of it. Did you? Yeah. Okay, like through the window or something like that? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> all right. You know, Sorry, that's all right. I, <laughs> I understand. Thanks, Callie. Mm-hmm, um, anytime. <laughs> you wouldn't have understood it anyways, but... No, I was just kind of sitting there like, yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to understand after Jack explains it, and I leave the meeting, I'm like... Even more confused. I'm even more confused. <laughs> yeah. Dude, after that, though, after uh, I was done presenting and stuff, we got to take some cool pictures there. That was a that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, our little photo shoot. Little photo shoot, me and Toe on the stairs. That was a that was a good one. <laughs> there's that Blake was, and I. There's you. <laughs> just mm-hmm. running around, just taking pictures for about an hour. That was that was pretty good. Kickoff mm-hmm. too. What you what you guys think about kickoff? That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I thought like just the energy level and how excited people get mm-hmm. about like the new game being released. That was that was really cool. I love sitting up in the. Um, the booth, yeah. Oh, I love year. sitting up there. I kind of <coughs> sat in the window and just recorded parts. Like, it's so weird to look down and see all these people in the seats that <laughs> aren't from your school. Mm. And it's just like, you don't know any of these people, yet they're feeling like they're at home at your school. It's mm-hmm. like, it's pretty cool. Yeah, kickoff was a good day this year, you know? It was really long, though. I like. It was, yeah. I was oh, in that strategy God. room for from, like, uh, 8 to, like... Let's see. We were probably in there about 12 hours. Until like 11. <laughs> I think it was over 12 hours. Went through like two 24 case Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I brought, I brought those. I thought, oh, maybe this will last like a week or two. But yeah, it was gone in a day. So, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Especially, uh, that was actually my first time doing strategy, like for a kickoff. I didn't even do, like I wasn't in the strategy room last year. You were like leading it though this year. Yeah, much, it was, was kind of, it was a trip. That's it was, awesome. It was strange. Uh, yeah, I was kind of sad I didn't see you guys. In- oh, well, you were in there a little bit. I was. I was in there. Were you? Towards the end. Oh, towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I was yeah. designated handwriter. For oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I took videos <laughs> of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, going into it, like, were the kids there the kind of fake kids you thought would be there? Or, like, like, were, like, did you, did it go how you thought it would go? Is what I'm trying to say. Or, like. I really did not know what to expect. Yeah. So. No, I didn't either. It kind of, like, set the standard for me after those two events. Even joining the team, did you, like, what, what were you expecting joining the team? I thought this was, like, too, I thought it was just, like, a Minnesota thing. Really? I did, too. I, I think literally it was, thought it was, like, a Minnesota all around thing. the world. And they're saying, like, teams from, like, Japan or something. Mm-hmm. Like, whoa. Yeah, no, uh, we were at uh, Worlds, and we actually got talking with the team from Israel. That was, that was pretty cool. That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And then how everyone was watching that video at kickoff. Mm-hmm. I like there. There were probably uh, how many people do you think were? There's one thousand. No, there's not a thousand. There was probably around four hundred, five hundred kids here for kickoff. I'm talking about like watch streaming the video. Oh, um, I have no clue. Probably somewhere around. I guess maybe like hundred thousand somewhere around there. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of kids Mm -hmm. in the robotics program, like everywhere. And how like a team like robotics just like brings people all over the world together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like working together. I think that's super cool. I didn't even know ro- ro- robotics existed until Adam. One day I texted him and I was like, Why are you at the school? And he goes, Robotics. And then I asked him it again, like next week. And he goes, Robotics. And I was like, <laughs> What is robotics? Yeah. Like, I kind of remember seeing it when I was in primary, intermediate school, and they'd come over and show off the robot. But, like, I 
like I've just been confused about the topic until I've joined. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, it's crazy though. Like the other day, uh, or not the other day, but during the summer, I was uh, in, I was in Las Vegas, and I actually like met a kid who was on a team oh, wow. from Las Vegas. I like so cool. Yeah, like everywhere you go, there's gonna be like people in robotics, and I just had no idea. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. And um, I also thought it was like. Uh, like a sports team where there was a coach leading everything and teaching you how to do mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Like I had no idea. It was it's like very independent. Run. Yeah. Independent, mentor driven. Yeah. Coalition of Independent Students. Yeah. 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 Let's get all the buzzwords in there. FMEA. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really mentor driven. I mm-hmm. feel like uh, that's that's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be you're you're just sitting there like, hey, this is how you do this. Go right. do it. You know, yeah. not not having a mentor like uh, Chris Fishbach or. Uh, who's another Roger just being there like mm-hmm. hey this is how you do it you should try to figure it out yourself but uh yeah here's a little guidance uh you know <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing so I had to have a lot of that mentor help uh mm-hmm. especially from Roger and uh, uh John Stick and who else uh Tom yeah how, how are the mentors you guys have been connecting with a little bit um I mean, honestly, Toe's been my mentor, like, <laughs> yeah. teaching me stuff and, uh, like, just showing me the ropes of, like, how business works and oh, sponsors and stuff CJ. like CJ! CJ is my oh, favorite yeah. mentor. Cool. He's not even in business, but, like, he's... <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's... <laughs> it's okay. He's, like, <laughs> he's great. He's my mentor, but, you know, he kind of helps out everywhere. Are there um, media mentors? No, I don't... Are there? I don't, I don't think we have any mentors. We, we, no. we should probably be on that, honestly. <laughs> True. I mean, Dylan's been doing Dylan a good Dylan really job. does a huge Dylan, Dylan does a good job of it, too, though. I mean, yeah. we possibly could consider Devin. Devin, True. I mean, possibly. possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Not officially, but... Possibly. <laughs> kind of. So, like, how did he teach you to, like, record videos, and how'd that go? Um, he... I don't think he... He, nec- he didn't necessarily teach me. He yeah. pretty much just said, uh, if you have a vision, then go forward with it. And he kind of just, like, showed me, you know, like, on, off, start yep. recording, stop recording. And then I just kind of did it. And then I'd, I'd, like, show my videos. And at the beginning, like, jump start, he was just saying, like, not going to work, not going to work. And then I'd kind of see what videos are actually good and what's not usable. And then what he really did teach me was editing. Because I don't think you can really figure out editing on your own. I mean, we definitely have different styles, especially with music and colors. Yeah. Because Dylan really likes the blue colors, yeah. <laughs> and I'm more of the warm kind of. Like, I try to go against the cold colors, the pale, but, I mean, everyone has a different opinion, so, I don't know, I just kind of, I really just listen to Dylan. Like, yeah. no one really tells me more than Dylan. Like, he t- always tells me, go on YouTube, like, figure out other things to do and then I'll watch a YouTube video and I'll be like mm, I've had enough and then I'll just yeah. go right back to Dylan and be like what am I supposed to do yeah so like did you have any prior experience with like media stuff or um I mean I've always liked taking photos now, I haven't necessarily well no I guess um I did go on a boundary waters trip with my father and I kind of had the idea where I should take like a bunch of like one to three second videos and then put them in a huge video at the end and my dad had no idea I was doing it until the end where I showed him like this one minute video and it's just a bunch of our clips together and it's it's been a year (laughs) since we went on the trip and he still shows his like co-workers my family like he loves the video so when I heard that I was gonna be like videoing I like knew right away like well, I know what to do. Like, I know how long I should do it. But Dylan always wants me to take longer videos because I, like, stick to the one in three seconds. And I just, like, yeah. can't get out of that groove. Dude, it's funny because, like, uh, her dad, Paul, uh, is my, uh, <laughs> used to be my lacrosse coach. So it's kind of funny just uh, seeing him at robotics in a different environment sometimes. But, uh, yeah. So, like, what are some uh, fun times you guys have had on the team so far? Like, what's some memorable experiences? Designing this studio yep. for sure. <laughs> yeah. The um, stew. <laughs> the stew. The boys came in here and cleaned out a space. They like barely told us. They like yeah. just said, uh, Dylan and Toe, yeah, we're cleaning out the upstairs. Yeah. And we're like, what, the upstairs? Like, it, the there's upstairs? an upstairs. <laughs> like, I had just no idea until I've been up here. By the way, if yeah. you don't know, this is like above our shop. It's like, 
up the sketchy set of stairs <laughs> in this like little <laughs> back corner. We need to use handrails. Yeah, yeah need to use handrails. Yes. There's steep like stairs. Like grippy steps. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it was a lot of fun putting this place together. Like, uh, I helped Dylan with it too, and uh, Ben and CJ kind of helped too. Mm-hmm. So like we put like these strips up. And like hung this like wooden bar up, uh, put bed sheets over it. So that's our background, as you can see, just white yep. bed sheets. Uh, we kind of changed it up a bit after the first episode, but uh, I think it's looking pretty sweet. We we need to add more stuff, but well, and then us girls decided that it wasn't <laughs> enough, so yeah, we went to the store Saturday. and we got a few decorations. I think we got a rug. We got Benji. This is our plant. Oh my god. Um, it's not real. What is this little poop thing right here? I got that at the um, arcade. You got that arcade. Okay. I did. We did have a puffer fish, but someone ripped the tail I off. And someone it. threw wow. it. <laughs> I wonder who that was, Callie. <laughs> and then we also added lights. Like oh, yeah. little decorative we Christmas lights. We have a lights wax here. burner. Yes, yeah, to make, to make it, it not smell, smell like good. dust. Yes. It's very homey up here. Yes. Don't it's worry, it's comfy. it's safe. It's, n- it's no fire. No yes. fire. No, no fire. open flame. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, here is the, the top, top of the wax burner. <laughs> oh. uh, it is um, Sensi brand, not sponsored. Uh, oh it is currently, I think, Lilac Skies or something. All the boys love us for oh, putting... Yes, the boys love the smell. Yeah. All right, Jack, here. Take a whiff. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, okay. So we got, <laughs> we did good. It's very safe. No yes. one can burn themselves. Do you have to be safety trained in on it? I'd say I'm pretty. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. Here, let's uh, let's. You can, you can plug it in if you want. You should plug it in. So um, there's no light. No one's gonna burn themselves. I mean, it's, it does it does say hot. But under the table. Use common knowledge. Don't oh, touch like, the hot plate. Where'd it go? <laughs> Jeez. Know. Don't we also have a moss ball named um, Chad? We're we do! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Callie, Blake, and I went to PetSmart. Uh, and bought yeah. a moss ball. Yes, it was very bottom fun. Sometimes the build Saturdays, they can get very long and they kind of dread on. And that's kind of what happened because our lead, Becca and I's lead, Dylan, was not here and we couldn't really take any videos mm-hmm. or photos because he had our camera. So we kind of just thought to ourselves, what should we do? And so we went to PetSmart, and we got a moss ball. His name's Chad. He's... Decorate the stew. He's a member of our family. Oh Currently, nice. he's at my house, Thank you. but he will what? be here soon. No. Oh, dang. <laughs> Are there any more plans to, like, fix this place up anymore? Or, uh, Honestly, like, I think we we need more rugs. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, rugs we really do need rugs. We have two rugs so far. We have a red one. Well... A gross red one. A maroon now mm-hmm. and then we have a blue one that we had bought I oh by the way if no one's noticed yet we got a new mic hopefully this sounds yes. way better yes. but that was that, that was an Take investment it. in the podcast do you want me to try got it nice mm. oh. are we on um, yeah there you go <laughs> as you can see it's very pretty it's very girly lights yes. up even and it's gonna smell like lilacs and we always make sure to shut off when no one's up here no yes. safety hazards we really take safety into consideration. We, you know, safety is a culture sure. here. It really it's is. Really yeah, is. It really it is. is. Yeah. There, you cannot go five minutes without hearing a safety reminder yeah. or anything. What about you, Becca? Have, do you have any uh, prior experience in media or anything like that? Um, my sister used to take pictures oh, cool. with me, and she like taught me the ropes of how to use a camera. And oh, stop. I, stop getting the shot. <laughs> There's our bucket of safety. Oh, my God. Yeah, the goggles. Oh, the goggles. Yeah, my goggles. She Callie wears around the goggles every smart. day. Instead those of safety like, glasses. Those are Callie's. Those are I'm not a fan no, of side shields, so I feel like these are safety rated, technically, <laughs> by the school. So. Yes. Gosh. Dang. What about you? Do you have any prior business experience? or? Um... No. no, I took a marketing class in high school. Well, I mean, you're still you're in high school. school. Yeah, last year. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's about it. But I found it something that really interests me, and so I'm doing good. What do you like about business? Um, I like talking to people and like going out with the sponsors and stuff. I haven't done a whole lot of that, but do you like writing those more. letters? Yes, and like writing. You wrote hand. so many. <laughs> I think I wrote all of our sponsor letters. The way the personalized ones? That <laughs> yes, like our personalized sponsor letters that we sent out 63. were all handwritten by me. <laughs> 36. <laughs> 36 of them handwritten. Wow. That's amazing. But, yeah. And I enjoy, like, writing papers and editing them. Oh, so yeah? I've been doing a lot of that. We all do yeah. editing. Wow. Fun. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a good time, guys. 
Yes. Hmm. So, have you guys felt any, uh, have you had any problems with that? The business or anything? Um, I don't know. Tone and I work as a really good team, and the other people, like Allie, we all work good together. Are you getting involved in chairmans? I think I you should. Know. Next year, you I should take over. You think, yeah, chairmans would be good. Maybe. You have good trainers. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Probably next year. Let's all join in on Chairman's. Yes. Awesome. yes. That'd there be go. fun. <laughs> the Chairman's video this year is looking so good. It is yeah. amazing. Well, they went down to Minneapolis to mm-hmm. film it. Yeah. And from what Yurik said, it seemed like it's really good. Have mm-hmm. you even seen it? No, I haven't seen I it. I watched Dylan edit some of it. Yeah, no, it's, it's looking good. The yeah. audio is really great on it. I watched a little bit of it. Uh, I'm so excited to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like very nice. I'm just yeah. hoping we can see it at that regional when we win, or if we win. Oh, that'd be well said. But no, I don't know about when. We we can't be too cocky. No, can't. <laughs> I mean, if we, we have our hopes. Hopes. Uh, last year when we won uh, at our Duluth regional, it was it was amazing. It was crazy. I didn't even Did know. Did you like guys think you were gonna win? Uh, a little bit. I don't know. It, we didn't. Not really. Not really. But and then no. you just see it, and you're I, like, wow. And they're like, CIS 4607 wins the chairman's award. I look up on this huge screen, a video of us just starts playing. It's like, that's, oh, wow. That I seems like that. an <laughs> amazing feeling. Yeah. I'm Even, like, the alliance selection is pretty awesome. Because we, we, uh, we didn't know if we were going to get picked. But, you know, I mean, you can never go into a competition thinking you're going to get picked. Right. Uh, we did get picked, and, it, you know, it was, it was a really cool feeling. Especially getting to collaborate with other teams like that. It was a it was a good feeling. Okay, so going away from our competition and stuff, we have our build Saturdays and the like. All the mentors and parents come in and they bring food. Do you guys appreciate the mentors for bringing in food? That is oh yes. amazing. When it yeah. hits eleven thirty and we get mm-hmm. the text message that food is ready, we yeah. are rushing down mm-hmm. there. It is. It's not like it's just like sandwiches every Saturday and there chips. Is so it's like much. It's like a <laughs> it's gourmet like meal. Variety. Like yeah. you have a lot, and if you don't like one thing, I guarantee you, there's five more things that you will like. Like those yeah. baked potatoes last week. Were those, so good. That was oh great. Gosh, yeah. I would never think that someone's gonna bring in what like 40, 50 baked potatoes. Dude, they yeah. were huge too. Yeah. They were like yeah. They were like six inches, like eight <laughs> inches at least. Dude, it was. They were good too. It was. This is fun. We feast here. Dude, honestly, we it's a feast. nice break, though. Always. It's a nice yeah. break in between, uh, in between building and strategizing. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good hour to just kind of talk with the other departments that you sit with. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I mean, most of the time, our table doesn't really talk about robotics. No. no. Like we kind of talk about college plans. Yeah, future. What are your college plans, Jack? <laughs> I, uh, I just decided I'm going to NDSU. Are you? Nice. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. To major in? Mechanical engineering. Wow. wow. Yeah, Not pretty business. Crazy. Fun. Did all, of my, uh, <laughs> did all of my rooming stuff like two days ago, which is a little late, but... uh, It's okay. We're, we're chilling. You're still on time, right? <laughs> Scholarships are doing like a few days, I think. Like February 1st. And uh, I still got to do all that, so... Kind of stressing a little bit, but we'll, we'll figure it out. You'll, you'll get it. Yeah, it's, it's nice because uh, Ben's up there, too. One of our uh, previous robotics mm-hmm. kids. Mentor now. Mentor He's now. Mentor yeah. Ben now. Big, big mentor guy. <laughs> mentor Are you going to come back and mentor? You better. We'll, we'll see. Come back? We'll every see. Weekend? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> the I don't know about yes. every weekend. <laughs> no, it, it'll be nice having uh, some people up there I know, though. Uh, they even have an RI 3D program up there, which I don't know if I'll get involved in it. We'll see. Uh, mm-hmm. You guys know what RI3D is? No. 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 Okay, well, it, stands, <laughs> it stands for robot in three days, and it's basically oh. the, a bunch of college kids getting together and uh, building an FRC bot, like, once the game's revealed, like, three days, like, literally three days into the season. So, oh. like, they... Does three days count as sleeping? Like, no. those hours? Uh, I mean, yeah, yes, yeah, me, yeah, I think it does. So, like, So, is it possible hours. to not sleep? I don't know. Yeah, we'll I, find I, out. I, huh? I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, we'll get an update. Hopefully not. But uh, yeah, actually, our mentor Ryan started up the program up there. Really? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Going back to like talking about how involved our mentors are, I was shocked to see like even students come back from really. the first years of CIS, mm. and yeah, it was. I mean, how much they help us and are involved in. Yeah. Mm. yeah, like Sam Samrock or whatever. Uh, is that is that his name? Yep, Sam Samrock and also Grant Stephens. Grant, yeah. yep. Uh, yep, they came back and uh, they've been helping us a lot with uh, the physics of the robot and shooting, especially yeah. in that first day. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a lot of help. 
especially since they're like engineering majors and like math majors. Yeah. It's really fun to hang out with them too, figure out, uh, since I'm going to engineering, I get to hear a lot of stuff about it through them. And it makes me excited to be going to college for the same thing. Uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. So, uh, do you guys have any cal- college plans yet? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No? No? <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a vision, kind of like a yeah. dream. Yeah. Because, I mean, if I have the opportunity to go out of state, I'd definitely go down south, which is kind of or not as common for people, like, strictly up north. I kind of want to go to Georgia, but if out of state is not an option, then I'd go even far more up north. <laughs> so it's kind of north or south, no in between. So are you thinking more like the media stuff like you've been doing with robotics or? Um, I actually think I'm going to go into environmental science, Dope. Wow. which is nice. uh, very different. There you <laughs> go. I mean, I don't think we have an environmental science branch on I, robotics. I don't think so. I, I think mean, it's very technology. Maybe we'll have to get to that. <laughs> yeah. You guys have any idea? Well, Chad is part of the Chad. Oh my God, Chad. Chad. Yes. So we have a little bit. I have a few little experience. Okay. I'll put it on my... Resume. No ideas yet? <laughs> well, still working on it? I was thinking of going into something like school psychologist oh, or dope. a neuropsychologist. Neuropsy- something like along those lines. Okay. It changes, but yeah. There you go. Becca. Um, I've always wanted to go to art school. That's dope. We all have very, very, yeah, different, yeah, very different, <laughs> different. Honestly, our team is really diverse. It, yeah, yeah, it's yes. so weird to just yeah. like hear people's like visions for what they want to do when they graduate Mm -hmm. and like no one's is the same or even close to the same everyone has their own view and what job they want to carry on with like dylan wants to be an entrepreneur i think i can see that (laughs) he wants to go to tech school for like a a trade tote tote is going into the uh secret intelligence uh (laughs) trying to work for the cia yes sir oh man that is which that is so nice like how we all have different visions of our future to collaborate and work together Mm -hmm. and we all have very different ideas on how to do stuff so it makes it easier which i think is really cool because like i feel like especially on the robotics team we're starting to branch out more than just our school yeah like our school mostly kids stay in state go to ndsu or und umd like just the, the close by schools but i feel like we're really starting to branch out especially on the robotics team yeah. Even though, like, over half the graduates uh, from the robotics team last year went to NDSU. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> That's okay. It's probably a good school. We're sticking together. It is. Yeah. Well, we're sticking <laughs> yeah. together. Yeah. Sticking together. <laughs> that, that's what that is. <laughs> Dang. Well, that's exciting. You know? I'm kind of scared yeah. to go to college, but we'll, It'll we'll be get there. fun. Yeah, it should be. You'll have to report back. Oh, of course. I'll, I'm sure. I'll that make was. sure to come back once or twice. We need we'll weekly see. visits, actually. Weekly like, oh. updates. Yes. Every weekend. I'm not Ben. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't chats a little bit. Don't chats a little it's okay. bit. But, you know, it's, it's fun. Boy. It's fun. It's like a weekly update. Week one. Week one. Week, week two. One. Yeah. Jack Just moving in. <laughs> I hey, Ben, in. if you're hearing this, we, we still love you. It's okay. <laughs> oh, man. So what are you guys excited for coming up in robotics? I'm excited for North Dakota. Yeah? Yeah, yeah road trip. Yeah. Dude, that's <laughs> that's going to be fun. It's just like different yeah it's mm-hmm. way different i i yeah. had no idea what to expect going into it and i don't think you guys do either It'll oh, be any no any idea. tips and tricks any tips and tricks uh not a lot of <laughs> sleep has been had really oh. Oh. so oh my gosh. i would uh try to sleep in a little bit before there before going there uh save it up sleep on the right eat, up there. Eat, a, eat a good meal before you go i mean <laughs> there's not a lot of good food options around there but you know just make sure to have an open mind have fun I heard there's, like, way more people than we could ever there's, expect. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. Yeah. It'll be really cool, though, because, you know, I might be doing alliance selections again. And that'll Ooh. be my first time in a regional, so yes. we'll see. Exciting. That'll, that'll be dope. You'll do a good job. Mm-hmm. We believe in you. Doing a bunch <laughs> of new stuff. You got a robot going good, so, I mean, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll all work out, you know? Yeah. Well, it uh, looks like we're, we'll be wrapping things up. Uh you guys have any closing messages? Anything you want to say? I'm excited for a great season. Mm-hmm. There we it's go. It's going to be a lot of wow. fun. Way there we basic. go. Way to be <laughs> yes. basic soon. There we go. We're just wrapping it up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been your third episode of the CIS podcast, sponsored by Ewing Farms, and we will see you in the next episode.